So this action item on the dailyactioncalendar.com is all about your to-do list and tackling one item on your to-do list. And so for this vlog, I'm going to share a little bit about Trello and how I utilize Trello for my personal to-do list. I'm going to go ahead and link below because I've had Trello, uh, a member of their team, on the GenCast, which was a live webcast that I was doing. I got to 75 episodes, and for one of them, we talked to a team member about how entrepreneurs can use Trello in their daily lives. And so for me personally, I use it for everything, literally everything. It's on my iPhone, my iPad, on the desktop. And it's been a huge, huge time saver and just helps me, especially when I was getting ready for the baby and my mind was just all over the place as it continues to be now that I have a newborn. For to-do lists uh, and tackling one item on the to-do list, I actually got some advice from, I think it was a Trello blog or from someone else on how they use it in that you create a to-do list and you're able to put all of your information onto cards on one single list on Trello. And I guess I, it would be in a single board. You would name the board to-do list and then each list would have something on it. But I, I brain dump all of what I need, all the things that are in my mind into this one master to-do list and then go through each card and prioritize based on what your goals for the week are, even what your goals for the day are. Then creating a separate board, or you could even do the same list or the same board and use a different list. Uh, create a today list and only include the things that you're going to get done today. So for today's action item, it would just be that one single thing. Then on each card you can include notes and details and then there's a checklist that you can also include. So in order to get that item done, maybe there's separate items below that that needs to be created before you can check that or accomplished before you can cross that item off your list. So utilizing the checklist, you can assign it to different people if it's a task that maybe is for your business. Um, and then also you can color code it, which is a fun thing on Trello. You can add stickers, you can add all sorts of fun stuff if you're on Trello Gold, but everyone has the ability to label using the red, the green, the blue, that type of a thing. So if it's something you're working on now, I usually use the yellow for kind of like a slow, I'm getting it going. Um, green is getting started or must do type of a things. And then red is when it's been completed. And then once it's done, I move it into like an archived or other space if I need to keep that card. So that's what I do for to-do lists. Uh, comment below and let me know if you use Trello. If you don't use Trello, what do you use? Uh, do you not use anything at else? at all. I also use it Trello in accompaniment with my Erin Condren uh, planner. Check those out. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.